You are not an accident. You were placed on this earth for a purpose and a reason. So let nothing or nobody stress you out. Welcome everyone. This morning or today we want to talk a little bit about overcoming stress. And so if you feel just a little bit of stress right now, I think this is a great video for you. But before we jump into that, of course, go right ahead and say what is it you are grateful for. I am indeed grateful for life, the opportunity to come and have this conversation with you. I am grateful that I don't feel stressed right now. So that is something that I'm grateful for. What are you grateful for? You know the drill. Go right ahead. The fact that you are alive, that is something to be grateful for. So drop it in the comment section, no man, what you are grateful for. St. John 8 verse 25, Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said from to you from the beginning. So you see, they have been... <laughs> They have been trying it with Jesus. They have been trying to stress Jesus out. So who do you think you are? They're not going to stress you out. They are going to try to stress you out. But I'm saying to you this morning, do not let anybody pressure you. Do not let anybody push you to do things that you don't want to do. Know who you are. That's the number one thing. If you don't know who you are, then people are going to push you. You're going to try to please others. They're going to put you here, put you there. They're going to try to come into your mind. So you got to know exactly who you are and who you are. You are a child of God. I'm a child of God. You got to know who you are. So three things or four things, let us jump into that I wanted to talk about. Number one, stress comes from our hidden places. He wants to want us to put on this mask. So stress allows us to put on the mask. There are many people you see around us and they are wearing a lot of masks. A lot of people you see on social media. Oh, they pretend that, oh my God, and just, I have it all together. And they put in on this facade and, and everywhere they go, you know, and they, they're at a nice restaurant, you know. I mean, you're up in their business because they're trying to put on this show for you. And sometimes, you know, we cause this on ourselves, you know. We're trying to please people, we want people to think that we are happy. You think that? You know, if you're sad, it is an emotion and you can actually be sad. Nothing is wrong with it. It is when you stay sad on a consistent basis. We talked about it yesterday. The word of God, I think it's Psalm um, 90 verse 3 said, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So if you did not check out that video, I would recommend that you go and check that out. So we're going to cry sometimes. But some people pretending as if they don't cry any at all. They pretend that, oh, you know, one day I noticed this, this person, you know, always pretend to be happy. Always pretend. And so when you see people like that, you know they have a lot of things in the closet. So sometimes we need to take off the mask. We need to just come real and say, listen, I'm having a bad day. You know, things are not going right. And you guys know, sometimes I come to you and I say, listen, today's not one of those days. I mean, I've been on this um youtube and i'm teary eyed and i'm saying guys it's just not a good day while i'm not going to come and divert my business here but i want to let you know that listen it's okay to have some low moments but it's not okay to sit in them right you have so many things that you can do to lift yourself out so don't stress yourself over every little thing but take off the mask the second thing is that some of us are living double life Mm -hmm. So when we're on social media, we are this beautiful person. And when we are off social media, then we are stressed out and we, you know, everything. So living a double life, when you go to work, you're this person. When you're home, you're this person. When you're on the road, you're this person. 
that is even more than double life so check it out living a double life it is so stressful i couldn't do it wherever you know there are some persons like they are christians and they are christians at church when they come out of church they go to work nobody in their workspace know that they are christians are you one of those person or they pretend to be this nicey nicey person when they go on the road but it's when they go home they are this horrible monster that's double life so you it's like you know <laughs> i told you the story with the little girl who it, there was this person who came to see her mom and the person have went have on a cap and uh, the little girl went and lifted up the cap and was looking, looking, looking. So the lady was like, what are you looking for? And the little girl said, Mama said, you have, you have two faces under one cap. So may I look for see the other face? Is that you? I hope it's not you. But listen, do not let anybody pressure you to live a double life. Right? Live how you feel comfortable. And that is why there are certain things I will not do here on YouTube because I wouldn't be comfortable doing it. I have to be me. And this is what I'm comfortable doing. Number three, being unreal with others. Being unreal with others. So we try to do, you know, things to please people. That are going to stress you out. So you need to come. Just be real. Okay, just be real. And number four, trying to be somebody you are not. Don't do it. Do not do it. It's going to stress the heck out of you. And that is why whatever you're doing, making sure you are enjoying it. Don't see it as work. It should be a part of life. It should be a part of your journey. One other thing that we recommend is that you live your best life every single day. Although that may not be possible, <laughs> but try your best. So take time to let the true color come forth. If you need help, ask for help. You can't do it by yourself. And that is why I really miss my conversation, my live conversation with my people. But I know you guys understand. I just need to put some things together. I just need to take a break and rest because, listen, I'm not going to stand and be this person and then I drop down here. No, I'm not going to be the two face on the one cap. No, I'm not going to try to please everybody. This is a form of insecurity. We want people to see good in us. Of course, everybody would love that. But if you, everybody see me as good, that's, mm -mm. it means I'm pretending right across the board. You have to love me for me. And if somebody is not loving you for you, leave them alone. Okay? Just be you. So today, Overcome stress by knowing who you are and whose you are. God bless you. And if you did enjoy this video, go right ahead, hit the thumbs up and feel free to share it with somebody. Until the next one, go ahead and live your best life today. See you in the next one.